I noticed a new global value recently that I hadn't seen before. And I was a little surprised to see it because I thought we already had a value that did this. Uh, and it turns out we didn't. I was misunderstanding what was there. So I just want to show you some differences between uh, some of these global values that we have. So what I have here is a paragraph uh, and I have a body tag with color set to red and padding to two M's. And by default, as you know, color inherits. Uh, so our paragraph turns red um, and the padding doesn't inherit. So only the body has padding on it, uh, not the paragraph. Now I'm gonna display a few other paragraphs and look at what these global values can do. So if I set this inherit paragraph to inherit both color and padding, this inherit value allows us to turn on inheritance where it wouldn't otherwise be. So that can be useful in some cases, probably not usually for inheriting padding, uh, maybe for custom properties, something else like that. Let's look at initial. So let's bring up two paragraphs uh, that are both this class of initial. Uh, and you can see by setting color to initial, the initial value for color is black and the initial padding is zero. So those make some sense. Um, but when we set display to initial, let's just do that here. You can see that suddenly these paragraphs become inline and that's because initial doesn't go back to the user styles or the user agent uh, browser defaults that we might expect where a paragraph is defined as a block element. Display initial actually resets display to the specification default for that property. So when we don't have browser styles giving us block paragraphs, the default for display is inline. So when we set display initial, we go the whole way back to the specification default, which is not likely what we wanted in this case. I thought that unset would be the solution to this problem because I expected unset to go back to the browser default, but that's not what happens. Unset does allow the color to inherit, but the default for display is not entirely expected here uh, because it's the property default and not the default for a paragraph. Now, what we really want in a case like this is the new revert value. Uh, that's available globally on any property. And you can see with revert, if we just show that paragraph, again, we're inheriting color, we're resetting the padding to its spec default, but also if we set the display to revert, we get the expected behavior that I wanted here. That behavior is uh, inheritance is still supported and also browser defaults are supported. Uh, we're not going the whole way back to the specification default for our property, we're still respecting browser defaults. By using revert, we're still respecting the user styles, the user agent styles, and also inherited styles. This is a very useful property, especially if we want to revert all on something. Uh, works a little bit like a reset. That's just a quick intro to revert. Uh, you can check on support at can I use. Likely in cases where you've considered using unset or initial, revert might be the better option for you.